Good morning, and welcome to Village in Motion. I'm Marsh Boyle, as your host this morning, and I'm just delighted to be able to introduce our new community resources staff member. Um, I think we'll begin <coughs> uh, by introducing Anita Garfo, who is, of course, a longtime community resources person here. And Anita, why don't you why don't you do the introduc introduction honors with our new person? We're we're just so pleased to have a new person. Okay, so am I. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is Dwayne, and Dwayne. Dwayne Ward. Yes, mm -hmm. Dwayne. Um, I actually would prefer you to tell people about yourself, and just where you come from, your background. Why don't you just let folks know who you are? Okay. Now you just this week started, I mean, is this literally your first week? This is the yes, second ma day. This is your second day, all right. Oh my goodness, you are really new. Yes. Uh, Dwayne, we're glad to have you. And as Anita says, let's, let's hear about your background. Okay, well, my name is uh, Dwayne Ward. I am 27 years old. I am passionate about event planning. Um, I'm passionate about working with senior citizens. And I, um, I'm happy to be here. All right, where did you work before? I, Worked for um, JBG Smith Company. The which? JBG Smith. It's a property management company. Uh huh. And I plan um, the community events there. Oh, I see. For the residents. All right. Yes. Uh, and what what where what what town was that? What area was uh, that here? Alexandria, Virginia. In Alexandria. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Terrific. All right. Where did you where did you come from originally? I am from Washington, D.C. You're from D.C., yes. okay. You know, you're one of those rare natives. Yes. Um, we, we don't have many of them. Uh, <clears throat> Duane, um, did you go to college and where did you go? I attended Omega Studios in Rockville, Maryland. Omega Studios? Yes. Now tell me about that. What is, what is that? Omega Studios is a um, recording synthesizing college. We learn a how recording to re and synthesizing. Yes. Golly, we we should be hiring you on Channel Six. Yeah. A recording and synthesizing college. All right. And what is your what would your degree then be in? Uh, music concentration. I mean, music business concentration. M music business. Yes. Oh, for heaven's sakes! Um, uh, do you have aspirations at some point to go into the music business? I at one point wanted to be an A and R. At one point. Mm -hmm. A yeah. what? A and R. What's Artist that? repertoire. Oh, okay. Where you search new talent and sign talent to uh, labels and things like that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll bet, Anita, that there are staff members and, and who knows, maybe residents with aspirations to be um, musicians. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We have a lot of talent here. And um, you'll get to know that okay. quickly. In fact, he, might, he might even have a little side business. Um, oh, <laughs> representing. He, prob he probably does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think this is. I think this is terrific. Um, so, when you said that you had a passion for working with seniors, ha in what capacity have you done that? I mean, do you have? You probably have, you know, older grandparents or great grandparents or. Yes. So I. I've like planned and coordinated events and activities for them in the past. Oh, my, you have? Yeah, my grandmother's um, senior building. I plan like uh, their community comedy nights for them, their mm -hmm. senior gala dances. Um, I've done like activities for them to come in and do like potteries and uh, like various activities I've planned in the past. Well, good for you. Yeah. All right, terrific. Um, so you're going to be very nice with, with senior citizens. Yes. <laughs> All right. I, I, I like that attitude. Um, anything else you can tell us that is, is, is particularly pertinent? What, what do you do in your spare time? What kinds of hobbies do you have? In my spare time, I like to plan events, always. Oh, but plan yeah. events. Yeah. I see. All right. Yeah. Um, and create for, for your family and... Family uh, and friends and uh -huh. create, always creating new things. Oh, well, how nice. Yeah. All right. So, so I'm sure he's going to have a lot of new ideas to bring to campus. Sounds like it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we're, we're always welcome. We always welcome that, don't we, Anita? That's right. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm sure that getting your staff back up to its uh, restored normal uh, 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 level is really going to be a huge help. That's right. And I tell you what, the fall's the best time for you to be on board. 
because it's a it's a mm. wonderful time around here at Green Spring. Yeah, you're sort of starting a new year, aren't you? Well, um, in terms of activities. Well, fall is fall is a busy time around here. Not only are the activities gearing up, but it's beautiful. The campus is going to come alive. You're you're going to see the campus at its best. Um, the grounds department does such a wonderful job, and so does Mother Nature. Yeah. Um, but we d we definitely have a wonderful lineup this this month for entertainment. Okay. We have a Saturday night. We're going to have Emil. I can't say his name, but anyways, he's a world-renowned violinist, and um, we're bringing him back for the third time because people every time they hear him say, "Bring him back, bring him back." So. Folks, get out and and see him because he is he is fabulous. And um, then we have also um, on the fifteenth we have probably the country's best German band right here at Green Spring on the fifteenth. It's a concert associate concert, and um, they're from the city of Fairfax. But they are considered probably the best German band in America. They go overseas and play. Um, so, anyways, it was hard to get them, but we, we were able to secure them. So, make sure you get out for that concert also. And then Dale Jarrett, besides his normal um, Monday afternoon concert that he gives, he's bringing his, his band with him for a concert on the 22nd. Now that's a makeup concert for concert associates that was earlier in the year when he got sick. Mm -hmm. um, he's making up that concert, so that one is for another concert associates that's being made up. So if you're a member of the, of the um, if you have one of those tickets, those concert associate membership tickets, um, then you can go to that concert for free. Otherwise, it's just five dollars, and you uh, you will enjoy that concert. I guarantee you. So we have those three big concerts, and then we have also classical chamber music is going to be holding a concert on the 14th in the chapel. Okay, so that's another concert that that will be going on. Um, and then um, the chapel is going to be having a United Nations Day, and they're having the Mosaic Harmony um, concert. In they're going to actually release doves at the end of that concert. Really? Yes, that Day of Peace. In, you in know, the it chapel. always worries me. What happens to those doves? It you always know? worries me when people do that. What happens to them? You know, birds? I don't know if those are trained doves that they come back or not. Can you train doves? Doves well, are you can are train very, yeah, pigeons, doves are, but I, I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe you know, okay. that's a good question, but I would can, imagine that they come back. But anyways, that's a good question. You'll have to ask Lois that. That's her gig. All right. Um, but anyway, so we have a wonderful lineup of entertainment this month. And then, um, of course, this month also is the pet parade and the yes. and the blessing of the animals, and then oh, is the, are the is the blessing of the animals this month too? Yes, it is, and uh -huh. then also and who is doing that? Um, is it Lynn Cockworth? Lynn is is um, I, I believe Gable? it's Lynn that's doing uh -huh. this ceremony, but um, anyways, then. Of course, Halloween around here. You wait. Halloween is a fun time around campus. That day is always exciting. Um, but anyways, we have we have a lot going on this month. Mm -hmm. And then of course the the um, council, the elections for the councils, mm -hmm. going to be gearing up. And then the elections being in November, all of the political stuff is starting to gear up mm -hmm. also. So there's. You just got to keep your eyes and your ears open. It, there's always something going on. So, what are the main ways of finding out what's going on? Channel six, of course. Are, are, okay. You, are you asking? Yes, me? I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, I, I just right. want us all uh -huh. to, to go over what the all bulletin right, the boards. Bulletin boards. The Village Bridge .net. Village Bridge. That's mm -hmm. the resident website, mm -hmm. and then um, and you're going to learn all this. And okay. and those paper um, uh, cubby stuffers. Right. Um, well, we're trying to downsize how many cubby stuffers we get. Yeah. Good. Good. Thing. But um, 
but yes, and then we only put up easels when there's the, something special, like a special speaker or a special event, something that's a, like a one-time type deal. So there's always a way to find out what's going on, and if you nothing else, come see one of us. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So there's there's a lot going on. It's, it's, it's the fall, it's the fourth quarter, and um, it's probably the busiest time of the year. Yeah, it, it, there really is a tremendous amount going on right now. Um, I, I looked at that calendar yesterday and I was, I was amazed at how, how much is going on. And Dwayne, you'll be in town center. Yes. And so folks, make sure you stop by and give him a wonderful Green Spring welcome. All right, you're going to be in Kelly's uh, former Old office, office yeah. up on the second floor. Uh -huh. That's right, right by the uh, computer. Right by the computer lab. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, for folks who, who want to uh, to come and visit you. Well, Duane, I, I, we're all just so pleased that you're here. Um, we, we, need, we have needed you um, desperately. Um, it, it, it has certainly been a strain on the, on the uh, of uh, the staff members in the community resources group. So you've done a good job. We, and we, you know. Well, thank you. We, we are we're glad to have you and because we are we're here for the residents yeah. and we love them to death and you're going to find that you're going to love them too. You're going to build relationships and, and you're going to want to come to work just to serve them. And, and it's a wonderful well, place nicely, to work. Well, nicely said, Anita. Yeah. Yes, well, hope you, you certainly do get to that stage. Um, thank you. That, that, that sounds good. Okay, anything else you want to leave us with? Um, well, it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, ah, so any that's events? Important. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know of anything, but again, check the boards. Check the boards, check your resources, because there's always something that's popping well, up. Well, um, there certainly are big events in D.C. I mean, the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the march, mm -hmm. or the uh, uh, walk. walk. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at my notes to see if I missed anything in particular, but um, I think the biggest thing is just keep your eyes and ears open because there's something going on all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Okay, well, Duane, again, welcome. Anita, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll stop now and have some.